An efficient transport system is a catalyst for economic growth the world over. As such, railway transport is perceived to play a strategic and important role in the social economic activities as well as contributing significantly to social, political and economic activities of any nation. In Nigeria, the present administration under President Muhammadu Buhari has over the last few years shown that it is committed to the development and modernization of Nigeria's railway system with ongoing efforts to revitalize the railway system and, of course, uh, establish it as the choice mode of transportation, especially on the construction of new railway lines which will be spread across the country in due course. It will interest you to know that since the commencement of the revitalization of the Nigerian railway system, the Nigerian Railway Corporation uh, generated about 2.1 billion naira as revenue from passengers and cargo within the first half of 2021, an apparent reflection of the rising demand for rail services in the country. With the number of train passengers surging in recent times, revenue skyrocketing, especially uh, with the launching of the Legacy Banner Railway project, it is safe to say that the railway transportation uh, have begun to ease public transportation and also boost the movement of goods across the country. Well, joining me live in our Lagos studio to give more insight to this and, of course, review the activities of the NRC in the year 2021 is no other person but the managing director of the NRC himself, uh, Mr. Fidet Ohira. It's good to see you, sir. Compliment of the com season. Compliment of the season to Nigerians. We did well in 2022. And uh, we hope the citizens are getting used to railway transport and they're accepting it and adopting it and... What I just pray that they should protect it. Hmm, very important, protect. Okay, before I will go to all of that, but let's start with the idea of the free passenger ride. We discussed that even before we came here on set from December 24th to January 4th. Uh, you know, this season, well, it is a commendable move, uh, but it's expected to gulp some amount of money. What is the idea behind this free ride? Oh, why do you have government to cater for the people? And you know, before now, they, they call it uh, embankment. The federal road safety police, everybody yeah. going to ensure that lives are safe. And the government said the best way to protect Nigerians is to let them go the safest means of transportation, uh, which is rail. Mm -hmm. Now that we can say we have conveniently covered some areas, the government said that the best thing to do for the people is for them to have access, those who, have, who don't have and have. Uh, and you can see a, a, a great leap. It's not a problem for us. And... Uh, I, I'm not uh, 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 scared to say it, that uh, uh, what we need is just discipline. We discovered that uh, since the, the, the minister called me and said, government said, go free ticketing. You still have to obtain your ticket, but obtain tickets, you don't pay for it. Let it be the benefit they are getting from uh, the government. Right. And we declared and the show we follow it. We now see this. Uh, uh, for instance, in the Bada Station, in, in November, the passenger was about 27,000. Mm -hmm. But as at uh, 27th, because of the free ride, we have it 40, 44. That's thousand. like two times. That's so a Bada and Bekuta alone. And you see, people who never thought they would use the rail are not coming up. And sometimes my friends, big people used to call me and say, we don't have access to the rail. I say, let their Nigerians, mm -hmm. let them also see the benefit. It's only when they know it that they can protect it. Mm -hmm. And they say, some people, they are not going anywhere. They just enter, go up, go up. I say, it's the benefit, is the, the season we are. <laughs> so instead of them be idle, at least they, they see where to go to and at least know what the government is doing. Uh, we, are, we are praying that those people should also protect it so that... Uh, uh, to be available for use next time. True. And they should be and say, okay, you must obtain ticket. If you don't have ticket, come next time and use it. Instead of forcing yourself and embarrassing and fighting the, the staff that try to ensure that uh, we obey COVID, or ensure that you don't carry more than the passenger. But sometimes they're under pressure. People enter and stand. And people just want to see the toilet facility go there and be pressing and pressing and see how it's working. <laughs> and we are proud to say that uh, Nigerians have accepted the free. Uh, the only thing that we just caution them to use it as their own. Mm -hmm. Don't spoil it. Don't vandalize it. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
the unfortunate thing is that those people who really have business to do using the rail, a lot of them have been either forced to write under not the, <laughs> the situation they are used to. Can you imagine? And uh, you see, if you are somehow idle, you get to the station before any other person, or you get a ticket before any other person, and those who really want to travel uh, had issue with that. Mm. But they just have to be here because they are also Nigerian. There's an introduction of an additional diesel multiple unit, uh, I think, and um, the corporation has increased the number of trips yeah. now between Abuja, Kaduna, from about 8 to 10 every okay. day. Now, how do you see this transforming the real transport? It, 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 the, the numbers are increasing mm. every day. Mm. Uh, the total passenger in first quarter was about uh, 400. Then by the time second quarter 500, third quarter 600, I know the fourth quarter with the free rides will maybe hitting over 800, make less than close to 1 million, million uh, uh, passenger usage. Both Abuja, Kaduna, Takbe Wari, uh, Lagos, Ibanda, and the Nairobi. And see also the freight also uh, picked during this period. And I know if we continue to be consistent and the end users have faith in us, the, 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 the market is there mm. and it's for us to have the way with that, have the rolling stock, uh, have the locomotive, uh, have the good communication so that we can run as many trains as we want. Uh, w in this period, we were trying to run uh, 12 trips in Abuja Kaduna, mm. but uh, the, we have issue with uh, communication so that we can change uh, our cross trains as frequent as many stations as possible. But we are working on that communication. The same thing with Itakbe Wari to see what we can put in place under this interim arrangement so that before the full communication and signal and security system that has envisaged to come aboard is uh, it's up. So if we have a reliable communication so that station to station, station to train, train can cross as went as planned. Mm -hmm. So we tend to go to 12 in Abuja Kaduna. Yeah. The DMU should be able to do four trips. The two other rigs should be able to, uh, that is, Two that are four it, uh, that is four return trips, yeah. and other two other directions also do four, which amount to twelve a day. That is our target. Somehow in January, yeah. why the Lagos Ibada? You know our target is sixteen, but because of this construction and uh, finalization of the track and station, but during this period we increase to six, from four from Monday to uh, uh, Thursday and from 6 to 8 from Thursday to Sunday so that uh, otherwise uh, it could have been a serious uh, 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 somebody was telling me this morning uh, you know the escalator yeah. a lot of Nigerians have not had the opportunity to even know what it was and some people went to Abekuta and started floating <laughs> <laughs> and when the and when the operator stopped it 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 was the police that rescued him from the people. I see your own. Already, but people are just yeah. trying to. Uh, because this is a system that when it sends a shadow, it picks up. And also, God saved some people that didn't know, even know when they get to a place, they need to run, move a step out. Yeah. They just stood. And if you don't step out, or well, the next result is you fall. Yes. And people will come <laughs> on you. <laughs> so, those are more the things we are now uh, educating the people. People yeah. and the air user because most, uh, if you know, most of them would not have seen escalator. Ray be for everybody, low, middle, high. So you see, with the rail, they are not seeing what the government is doing. That if you have them all over the place, I, I think it will affect security. Uh, the people will appreciate government yeah. and. If you know you can travel conveniently and uh, timely, by as rain this as, uh, because rail is always timely. Uh, we don't have weather problem. We don't have uh, operational uh, because of operational problem. Interesting one day, M uh, MD. And now let's now look at highlights. Now you know focus on um, efforts for the modernization yeah. of Nigerian railway system. Yes, for the year 2021, I you know a lot has been done. We had you speak about it, but give us an overview and what are the plans for no, 2022? No, uh, 2021 has been, I say, fruitful, mm. and Nigeria can say it. In the year 2022, we consolidate at the route, at the route we are operating. 
as I said, we will try and increase the number of trips we run. And especially in Lagos, if the freight will come on the standard gauge. And we will try and make sure straight leave Lagos to Kano on the freight. Uh, Cassera has approached us. We have a train load already to Kano. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lafage, uh, Wekora has also approached us. We are going to be taking their product to Oshobo, wow. uh, probably to Mina. And we have a massive demand, people trying to move coal from the middle bed to southwest by rail and to, so for export to Port Harcourt. I had a meeting this morning and we are saying how to, see how to plan why the, the construction of the southeast corridor is going on and how to enter the port, why the construction is going on. We will develop that and the customer is pushing seriously to ensure that we are able to move. Mm -hmm. We know coal is required in bulk, not yes. in yeah, place. Yeah. So we hope with that uh, opportunity coming up, 2022 is going to be very busy and promising. And the leak in Lagos, uh, Kaduna to Kano, which is the target of government, I think by tomorrow, the minister will go on inspection. I think I'll be joining him and the PAMSEC and the uh, chairman. And that is to show how government is serious, serious to extend the rail. We talk about uh, uh, reconstruction of the southeast, the design and all things being, is going on. Uh, the company made a mistake and the, some security issues that need to be resolved for them to be able to fly overhead and do the area survey. Mm -hmm. That is being re uh, resolved. And uh, sooner than later, the East Axis will be uh, at least for the reconstruction, we kick off where we are totally looking for the uh, the money to do Port Harcourt, Cardinal Standard Gate, and Calabar, Lagos. So it's at uh, the, the the experts in uh, <laughs> money matters are doing that. Yeah. While those of us are technical and technical construction people are also doing, are it. doing that. I'm role. also thinking about the containers and the t many want. We are looking for we get to a time where we would also convey all of these via rail tankers and all of these containers. Yeah, we tried to introduce at the time we bought forty pressurized tankers to see if we'd be encouraged to do that. We, we, we you see, uh, people because Nigerians should develop a way of trying to see what they do benefit the majority instead of the narrow mm. set. Mm. You see, a, a businessman want to make as most possible. As possible, whether it's been affecting another person or not, but we are trying to encourage them. Let's use the rail. Uh, forget about the so-called the bridging, because when you do use the rail, if you are going to Kano, you must go to Kano. Yeah. Uh, not like the road. When you say you are going to Kano, it's up in Ibadan, and, and it covers up uh, for falsifying documents. There is no falsification of document in rail system. Uh, when you load the seed, if it's 44, it's 44. If it's 33, it's 33. Sure. So we are working with the relevant body to ensure that uh, let Nigerian benefit of using rail, a moving petroleum products. Yeah. Uh, let's because if you move 15 tank wagons of 44,000 liters to Kano, for instance, that in that month or that week, you are sure of fuel yes. will be available. So, uh, but uh, diversion cannot Safe be done uh, by by rail. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. So we are encouraging them and. The 40, uh, the 40 tank wagons are still there, but luckily, I can probably say, state government are coming up on board to see how they can reduce that pressure. Nigeria State is pursuing now, so we are going to, uh, about entering an MOU to ensure where wow. products are delivered, to mina by rail, to reduce and protect their roads. Yeah. The same thing with Oshun State, we have gone to a very uh, discussion, a high discussion level, to us with a third party, which they are midwife in to ensure that Pancho Longo don't get to Ocean State through the rail. So with those two systems, if we can come together, at least it will be it will be something and we cite as an example of uh, moving product by rail. The container, for instance, we are working with the terminal, the Shippers Council uh, at the MPA. Uh, the minister set up a committee to ensure that rail are moved uh, by rail. You see, when you take a train to the port and you charge them for using rail higher than you charge the roads, mm -hmm. you, which signal are you sending? Yeah. Why do you have to pay city seven for rail for, for, for handling in the port and you don't charge 
the roads in Latin. Uh, I mean, you are discouraging people from using yeah. the rail. So, however, I have some people that are really serious, that they know the advantage of using rail. They are still patronizing us. And uh, when you come to the port, the terminals, <laughs> I don't know what is the problem that they, sometimes they find it difficult to offload from the rail. It's just selfish interest, which I think sooner or later they know it, it pays everybody to. Because the more product you move out, uh, for instance, we try to move some spare parts and we're looking for a ship to come. So we don't can go to ports, we offload in a uh, private uh, terminal, so you find a way, which is not good for us because it takes time. Uh, they cut to the, this thing, they can't anchor because the port is, oh, I mean, what is tonnage that is congested? If you, dip, if you move three trays a day from the ports, you will not see a single container. Mm. And the traffic. Yeah. Will be. And those vehicles, the trailers can go to the river, various head terminals, red time heads, yeah. and move the product to the warehouses. And to the, the, the terminal will, uh, they, 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 they will benefit by high volume of what they move out instead mm -hmm. of uh, depending on demoral charges. They don't want to know who, whether it's, uh, yes. because they are crane or forklift is not working. They just, because you need, you are, Nigerians are just to get their product out, they just give them the bees. Mm -hmm. And they sometimes they say, I'll move your container to one private terminal. They are the owner of the private terminal. It doesn't speak well. Mm -hmm. They try to use it on us, we wrote them and said, <laughs> where we expected our goods is at the port, a papa port, not outside. Not outside. Anything outside there, we, we, we go to court and they return it, and we took it by rail to our, to our warehouses. Are we also looking at Lagos Ogun? What's happening along, along that, uh, that axis? Um, well, you, know? you know, Lagos Ogun, we have both narrow and standard gauge. Okay. Getting to our Bekuta. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's now left for the various data to tap in and see what they can do, like Lagos State is doing. Uh, we had a meeting with the minister and the former governor. I said, the minister said, okay, you are developing the bad agri axis, yes. and you are also looking for money for the, uh, like say, uh, uh, to, from, from Agbado to, we already built a standard gauge, two lines. We think we can accommodate you. So why don't you? Uh, right now, they are doing from Ebute Men, that junction to Ido. The first phase to Yimbo. Mm -hmm. They are building the station for passenger, and we have uh, an, an arrangement that once they are able to have enough rolling stock, we will do the long distance and let them uh, help them uh, ensure that the Lagos people enjoy the benefit of good rail service. Mm -hmm. So they are also building station at Ikeja where we don't have. Uh, they, I think they are building at Yaba, and so with that, when that comes to force. The, 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 they bring their uh, uh, DMU, electric or diesel electric. We cooperate together and operate it. So because the citizens that we, and the commerce that will benefit of timely movement and the roads yeah, uh, will benefit those who want to go by road. We have light traffic to go by road. I think that is the way to go. And every state that wants to cooperate or even businessmen, we are open to them. Hmm. And the last board meeting, the board approved uh, 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 that's agreed that is we should design a framework for uh, either government or private to come into the system wow. based on our act. We believe that uh, the present act permits yeah. people to, 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 to come in wow. because the uh, final agreement you have is the deciding factor. As far as the Nigerian Railway Corporation and the government agree that you have met the required requirement. Mm. So we are happy. In the, the next phase of modernization is try to encourage people and businessmen to be partners. Mm. Uh, if it's rolling stock you can bring in, as far as you obey government regulations, yeah. you can do that. Uh, we are trying to remove your final agreement, make sure that Nigerians are protected, and those who use the train are, uh, are also going to ride safely, and not endangered, because there are things that you must put in place, both on track, on the, on the coaches and wagons, to ensure we don't have uh, we don't have disaster. Uh, as we wrap up, are you telling us some things about revenue? How how it's been for the year? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you're my friend. I don't talk about money because it's your problem. I know you talk about money on this. Yes. It, it, your problem for human being is yeah. money, 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 True. money. Well, that is the peace of mind mm. and what the people benefit from the service. Yes. No, if you have a meal to eat, yes. nobody will ask you how. Uh -huh. If you can, your children can go to school. If you have a roof over your head, I think that is what is important. And the money is coming in. Good. 
but it should be used for the benefit of the people. Uh, people should get an approved service. You should not say because I could not buy diesel. That's why the train that somebody had had us might and wanted to come in, you could not. They could not uh, have it. So money is important to do all these things, but uh, let Nigeria not make it their main target. It should beat what is it for the majority of the people. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, also, also, before I let you go again, let me remember that the federal government has sought, of course, loan facilities and all of that. Yes, I even talked about that in my intro. So are we thinking of more uh, coming for 2022? Are we still... No, we are looking for funding. We are talking about Lagos Calabar. We are talking of both uh, reconstruction of the narrow gauge and reconstruction of Port Harcourt, Manduguri, with extension to those states like Adama, Wataraba. Uh, we are talking about linking the Takbeto Abuja, so that have a person can ride the train from Wari to Kano when Kano Kaduna is linked. And once you have that, how do we do that? Do we have the fund available? No. Can we get the fund? If we work and, as a family and cooperate yeah, together, I think. I think we can get the fund. Because he said that you do it now, and the earlier you do it, the better. It's not because I'm the MD. It's because the, if you already have this, we will not be repeating them. Yes. We'll just be maintaining them. And uh, those who died, uh, maybe 10 years ago that I didn't see this would have witnessed it. Thank God we are witnessing it. Mm. So I think that should be the idea. If we have people, it should be the person borrowing you that should be scared. Not you that somebody that is borrowing. Because if, I, if you want to take money from me, I should look at your credibility before yes. giving you. Yes. So that, I think that is the way to go. But if, if you know these things are important, you have to do them. And uh, Somebody said, ah, I can give you money to do them. You pay. Because uh, <laughs> according to my former governor, late Ambrose Ali, Nobody, no government has ever said, I have gotten enough. Yes. Even human beings, the richest person, not say, otherwise, yeah. you will be sleeping 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. So it's never, money is never enough. Yeah. And it can never be enough. So it is what you, you, you have in your mind that tell you whether you, are, you have enough or not. It's a good way to leave it for the year 2021. It's been really nice having you in MD and a general wake operation, Mr. Fida Tohira. Thank you so much. Uh, we hope to see you in the new year. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep up Nigerians up to speed with happenings in the space. Yeah, thank you. I, I wish Nigerian uh, uh, the best in 2022. And they should also cooperate with government. With yeah. our, without their cooperation, government goes nowhere. Yeah. The government is me and you. True. And True. they come and go too. Yeah. So. Interesting way to leave the conversation. Well,